Welcome Aquarius. In this reading, we are going to look at the past, present, and future. All right, Aquarius. So we're going to do a past, present, future for you. Now, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use this deck. Sorry. Past, present, and future. Three more soft. Okay, in three. Can I have an accurate past, present, and future, please? Now, oops, okay, one more. Ah. There we go. Now, in this deck, um, the past, it's going to go from past to future right there. So I'm going to split it to get the present moment. Okay, so this should be the present moment. Okay, this is present moment to future. Maybe I'll put this over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this no, we're just we're going to go back in time and find out. So there's the present moment. We're going to go back in time to get the information that you don't have. And then we're going to go back to the present moment and go into the future. Okay? All right, here we go. So starting out with the present moment. So we're going to go right to left. Shit, hang on. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear there. Oh, no, that's right. Okay. So this person, someone could be withholding feelings for you right now at the present moment. Could be dealing with a water sign or a Capricorn. Could be dealing with anyone, but it lo looks like somebody is withholding a lot of feelings at the present. Now we're going to go back in time and find out what you don't know. <laughs> uh, could be dealing with a Virgo or a Capricorn here. Um, it looks like someone is very uh, obsessive over you here. Um, very attracted to you. Feeling possessive over you. They could be a little obsessed with you. Feeling like you're better than they are possibly... They could have been chained to a lie here. There may have been something that they did in the past that is blocking this connection. That could be what they, why they can't tell you how they truly feel. They may have done something out of greed. We're going further back now into the past. Well, here they're looking at the past. They could be thinking about the ramifications of what they did in the past. They could be um, here, what they're looking at is, they could be looking back here and realizing that they were the cause. Uh, they're looking back at the future, uh, back at the past, but they're also anticipating something in the future that is a result of something from the past. They may have been thinking here Wishing that they could turn the clock back and redo something. Show me more. Could be dealing with a Virgo or Pisces or Sagittarius there. Going further back into the past. So this person could be deeply regretting time that they spent managing some situation that took their focus and energy away from you. It's like they're regretting being half in and half out. They could be regretting wasting a lot of time. But I think what they're regretting is trying to handle two things. They're regretting putting time and energy into something that wasn't important and that wasted a lot of time because Along with this is this feeling that there was a, a time when everything was perfect. You know, when they could have invested fully in you. Now, they could be regretting 
drinking <laughs> in the past. or But basically, what they're feeling sad about here is something that's unbalanced. So, uh, something that wasn't fair. There was some kind of disunion or disloyalty. Half in, half out. Have it feeling like they owed somebody else something. It's like, oh God, I have to pay so-and-so back and now that's going to take you know, money out of my pocket that I wish I could have, I want to spend on Aquarius. Something like that. We're going back further in the past now. Yeah, this could be somebody asking them about the future. <laughs> this could be somebody, uh, you know, this could be you telling them what, you, what you'd like in the future. This could be um, them waiting for a message, looking forward to a message, or this could be somebody telling them what's coming up in the future. This could be, if this is someone that they had to pay back <laughs> here, um, or recompense, whatever that is, they're regretting it. All right, let's go further back. Yeah, there we go. Now, if, if you left this person um, in the past, this, this could be a point where this happened. This could be them in the past, you know, um, trying to make a decision about whether or not they were going to take a risk with you. Let me just demonstrate what I mean here. So... If this is them making a decision about you in the past, let's just go forward. This could be somebody else asking them, pay me back, you know, and then regretting the fact that they have to pay somebody else back. And there they're looking back at the past, thinking about the future. Do you see what I mean? And that's them having to withhold feelings from you. Let's just go back. That, that could be something that they did that, that that has to do with this recompense. Okay, that's them regretting being half in and half out or being disloyal. So that's where we were. Now we're going to go back further into the past. Ah, <laughs> there we go. So in the past, you know, they this is some part of what they were trying to manage behind the scenes. So this is something they were hiding from you. There may have been some kind of collaboration that was going on behind your back that you didn't know about. You know, there's a plan. Here's, you know, here was, here was a, a, the actual thing. There's a blueprint. I don't know what's going on here. But somebody is, they're bringing the results or a plan to somebody else. And uh, this is all being done behind the scenes. They're receiving some kind of instruction here. This is being done behind your back in the past. Let's go back further. There's some kind of an opportunity that may have been offered to them, um, or an oppor yeah, or an opportunity. This this also could be an opportunity that was either offered or taken out of anger or to control. Let's go back further. It could be somebody um, helping or considering travel. Or somebody exchanging something, what may have been exchanged here, it may have to do with, um, you know, letting go of you. This could be somebody feeling very, very off balance because they're worried about losing you, about you slipping through their fingers. This may have been you 
making a decision about withdrawing your energy from someone or weighing up a situation or making a decision. This could be you leaving a situation because you felt that something was unfair or off balance or you may have felt that you were being juggled. Let's just um, go into the future again to see if that makes sense. Yeah, there's an emperor angry or offering something and possibly being angry because you didn't take it. That could be, maybe you knew about this and that could be you leave, making a decision to leave. Let's just go back again. Let's go back further. Ah, uh, yeah, something was really unfair. Somebody could have been married. Somebody could have been cheating on a marriage. Or that Ten of Pentacles, it could be a family or an organization that that somebody was either giving to or could be an organization that was involved in something that was that was corrupt this could also be somebody who felt superior to you um they may have had a you know they may have really been using their wealth or status um they may have felt you know that they were entitled to do something that was unfair because of money or because they felt that you were inferior in some way. This could be you feeling like you're not getting a full commitment and that could be why you've left. There was some kind of betrayal here. Yeah. Now, if this is your person's past, there could have been a very deep betrayal um, within their own family. They may have seen their own, one of their parents cheating on the other. There's a tower in somebody's past or some kind of betrayal in somebody's past that may have uh, given them or, or caused them to develop some kind of um, um, baggage, head wounds here. Let's go back further. So this could have been something that came out in the open in the past. Um, the fact that there was some kind of a love connection. It may have become public or exposed. This could simply be a time when somebody felt very proud to be with you. Somebody may be noticing here that when they're with you, that you attract a lot of attention. And you know what that may have caused? Is paranoia. That something may go wrong here. All right, let's go back further. Whoa. This could be somebody who was very angry and malicious, who wanted to end something. And that, that may be why this something was exposed here. Someone may have deliberately exposed something because they were angry, malicious, and they wanted something to end. Yep, somebody was jealous going further back in the past. Somebody was very um, jealous and ready to strike here. <laughs> this also could be a, a contract to spy. Someone may have been offered some kind of an obligation to spy. This may be, this could be a point in your life where things were very stable and somebody wanted to destroy something. You see this? There's a decision to destroy something. To expose something here. Keep going. Somebody may have fallen in love with you here. Let's go back and see what the first two cards were. Whoa. Somebody could have been presenting some kind of a proposal or a contract here in the 
past. This could be when this person approached you. I mean, this may this may be here, uh, or some somebody approaching your person with some kind of a proposal. Let's go forward now. There may have been an obligation, you see, or you may have noticed that something was stuck. There's a ruthless decision here to end something. Here, it, it, it this could simply be your person realizing something becoming eminently clear that they loved you. This is um, fear or paranoia that something could be destroyed. This could be, you know, the fact that somebody realized that they're breaking their own heart here. They can't totally commit to you here. They may be realizing that in time they have to leave or depart. They could be angry here that they were brought, that they took this proposal in the first place. It may have been to do something behind your back. There's some kind of a decision here. This could be a decision about you. This could be a decision being made. These could be instructions about the future. And here they are at this point because they're in love with you, dreading um, what they know is inevitable, regretting having taken that offer, regretting that they have to now manage this. Here they are looking at something that's inevitable, wishing they could turn back the clock. Now they are, because now not only are they obsessed with you, but there's something that they're bound to do here. They may realize that they're, you know, they're regretting here that they're, they're tied to something evil. Here they're realizing your worth. And there's something now that, there's something behind this now. This is sort of a deep, they realize that they devalued something. And there it is. Now they're absolutely, completely in love with you, but they can't express it. So there's the present moment. Now we're going to go into the future. So how are we going to do this? We're going to have to, so that's the future. This is the present moment. I think what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over. So what we're going to see here, this is, um, yeah, we're just going to have to, yeah, I th that's how we're going to do it. Okay, so we're in the present moment going into the future. The future is over here. So this, so your person knows that they're madly in love with you. They're well aware um, that you fulfill them in every way. They are very clear about this. But I don't like that Ace of Swords and neither do they. There's, that is a double-edged sword. Let's keep going. I'm going into the future here. So this person is well aware. They know that you are their wish. They want you. But there could be the truth may be hidden behind that um, person who's sitting there. Underneath that banquet tablecloth may be a cutting truth. Let's keep going. So there's a there's some kind of competitive energy here. Um, they're anticipating. So th th there's irritation and anger here um, because there are other people that they feel are going to fool up this nine of cups. It could be there could be an outside party here who is happy that something is about to you know, be disrupted here. Show us more, please. Yeah. So, somebody, whoever that ruthless person was from the past, they're looking forward to watching something end. And whatever this ending is, I feel like it has to do with the connection between you and your person. At the same time, your person could be feeling very angry and irritated that something has to be completed or they have to end something. 
And I just feel like that's you. With the Empress and the world here, you know, somebody feels very complete and whole with you. You are the one, you may mean the world to this person, but there could be some kind of a plan here that has to be completed. Yeah, there we have the energy of that malicious um, King of Swords. By the way, um, for some of you, you're going to have three children. <laughs> Somebody is definitely going to be having children in the future. For others of you, this could have to do with siblings and something relating to your mother. This could relate to something that you do not know or information that's been hidden from you. Now, for others of you, this is a feeling that your person has that because of whatever that collaborative plan was in the past, somehow you have been put into the category of off limits. And it could be because of the lying and that Seven of Swords energy that took place in the past, you know, that may have, that may have gone without saying going into the future now. So there is communication or some kind of a victory coming toward you that you don't see coming. There's communication coming into you in the future that will answer a question. It's information that you did not have in the past. Let's go further into the future. Uh, for many of you, there is a job offer coming in that's very good. As you can see here, um, there is somebody who is working on some kind of communication. Somebody is working on something that they want to say to you. Also, um, in the future, there may be a number of job offers coming into you. You may also, in the future, be getting some repetitive text messages from somebody. Wow. So in relation to um, a job offer, something that you really love to do, um, there's work that, you'll, that you've, you're putting your heart and soul into. There's something there's something here that you're good at and that you love to do that that you will be able to be to to invest in in the future you could be making a lot of money on this let's go further into the future wow so there could be someone who is very jealous here this may be um sort of a distorted feminine energy here who's angry with you this could be a mother a sister or a friend further into the future here. For many of you, something is happening in the future and it relates to something that a, a female energy, um, that Queen of Cups, somebody was doing something repetitively to try to destroy your career or your work. Uh, it, it could also simply be um, a feminine energy that's around you that did something very wrong. And what's happening here is they are literally being pursued by the police or by justice here in the future. So that's good for you. Something is being made fair. Yeah. In the future. So it's something what's happening here is somebody, there's a feminine energy that was holding you back, trying to control you. This could be Sort of a narcissistic mother or sibling or friend. Um, but it, what's happening in the future is somebody is receiving some major justice. Um, and it, it relates to something that was held back from you. There was jealousy here. Let's keep going in the future. In the future, somebody is going to be very, very regretful. The, the Nine of Swords sometimes is somebody who's in jail. 
So that feminine energy, there could be someone literally going to jail for something that they did that affected your life in some way. Somebody is walking away in the future. They may be, there could be another person, you know, who's, the, people are really getting justice here. But are they ever? Wow. So I feel like what's happening here is there, in the future, there is a massive, um, it's, it's almost, it's not really karmic justice. What it is, is someone who is, they may be publicly exposed here. Someone is, is, they could be going to jail, literally, and they're, they're being forced to look back on their own actions. I, I think this is happening without you having to do anything. Now, there is somebody who is either very um, interested in you here in the future, or they're somewhat, oh yes, are they ever. Now, if this is your person, um, and your person went off with the Queen of Cups in the past, what's happening here in the future is that your person could be angry here in the future. They could be realizing um, if that Queen of Cups was someone that they were with, um, they could be very angry here with themselves and very upset um, that they, you know, took an offer from the Queen of Cups. Let's just keep going and miss their opportunity with you. Yeah. If your person in the past married a Queen of Cups, um, this could be an arranged marriage or something, or they may have just offered marriage to a Queen of Cups. Um, this may relate to what we've just seen. They could have realized that that Queen of Cups, yep, yeah, here we go. Someone, If somebody left you for a Queen of Cups, um, what's happening here in the future is they're realizing that, that they lost everything. Um, you know, they should never have left you out in the cold. They've lost everything. A great deal of damage has been done because of the choice of a Queen of Cups. Somebody may have, they may be realizing here in the future that they were manipulated. Let's see more. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, that could be, that could be you. In the future here, somebody is really getting the shock of their life here. This could be somebody looking for you in the future or simply getting a shock. Somebody could be very shocked in the future at trying to figure out how to get out of a trap or you may be realizing here in the future that somebody was maligning you or um, somebody was... Uh, I'm getting the feeling here for, for some of you, um, if you were sort of the scapegoat in the family or you were the whipping post or you were being gossiped about or somebody was slandering you. In the future here, somebody, um, if, if you have walked away from these people or removed yourself from a bunch of narcissists, they don't know what to do here. This is sort of what happens, you know, they say, what happens when the black sheep of the family leaves uh, uh, the narcissist or leaves a toxic situation? They all turn on themselves. They're looking for another um, scapegoat here. Let's keep going. Yeah, look at this. You could be discovering um, a lot of deception here. The people you could be seeing who your true friends and who your true enemies are here. Let's see more. Yeah, and you could be raising your sword here in the future, um, calling out people who were... What's happening here, I think, is you are cutting through the deception. You may be pointing out that something was either covered up or something was deceptive or somebody was lying about you or you're pointing out the hidden, you're sussing out hidden enemies here. Show me more. There's a very 
positive change here. Um, your attention in the future may be put on something new, on a project for yourself, some kind of an undertaking here. Yeah, you could be making a lot of money in the future doing something that you love. So you've got the controls back here. You're enthused. You're making money for yourself. Um, you're happy and comfortable here. Could be having a child here. Show me more. This could be you being married here um, or working for a large organization or working at home. You could be finding a, a, a actually what you could be doing here is uh, working on another career. You could be studying at home or going to university here or teaching at a university. Teaching from home. You may be caring for a father here in your home. Let's keep going. These could be grandchildren, by the way. I don't know how far we are into the future here. The other thing that could be happening is that you may be um, reconnecting here with a um, with a paternal father. If you didn't know who your real father was here, there's a reuniting here. It has something to do with patriarchy. A father could be moving in with you or somebody's father. Show me more. Yep. You may also be learning something here. You could be going back to studying something that you loved. You may be finding your twin flame here. You may, this could just be you having children and being very happy, realizing that you're happy. You may also be discovering something um, about your childhood. Yeah, it's something that may have been a secret. For some of you, you've checked yourselves into a nunnery here. <laughs> just kidding. Not actually, no, I'm not kidding. Some of you may be doing spiritual studies here. Very, very advanced spirituality here. This could also be a psychic download that is very accurate. This could be a dream that you're having, something that you're finding out by going to a psychic. This could be you reading cards or um, just so incredibly... Your crown chakra could be so open here. Um, so for many of you, your psychic abilities in the future are becoming extremely fine-tuned. Um, you're very, very easily picking up information here from um, from the, you know, whoa, are you ever, geez, Aquarius, holy moly. This could also be, if this is a career, <laughs> you could be um, uh, in some kind of a um, security, intelligent, you may be working for um, uh, an agency that spies on people. But I think for, just given the cards that we saw previously, I just think that this is you either gleaning the truth about something that was very, very well hidden, or it, I mean, this is information that is really well hidden. It's top secret. You may be privy to some highly confidential information in the future, and you could be getting it through your own psychic download, or you simply could be, um, this could be an investigator revealing something to you that you didn't know. It looks like it's very, very confidential information. This could also be somebody else trying very, very hard to um, discover a secret about you. You may also be seeing the truth in the future about why you went through a, a long period of difficulty. So here in the future, you could be discovering the truth about why 
there could have been a 10 year period where heavy, heavy burdens were placed on you. And you may be seeing a truth here um, about who was blocking you or who was causing you difficulty. Um, in the alternative, this could simply be you in your career sharing wisdom, knowledge, and information to assist others who are having difficulty. This could be part of some, some kind of humanitarian work that you're doing here. You could be understanding why people have difficulty or sharing truths, um, uncovering truths truths that are very, very difficult to understand. You could be sharing knowledge with the world here. Um, you could be encouraging people to be empathetic toward other people who have had difficulties, trying to um, show people why um, things are hard to, uh, to give up. You could be understanding truths about people who have addictions or um, sharing knowledge and the information that assists people in, um, in getting through difficult times. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay. So this could simply be you understanding um, why your person has so much trouble or difficulty um, expressing emotion or putting words together. This could also be somebody putting a great deal of effort um, or gathering up their nerve to come towards you. You may be actually seeing um, the, the amount of love that someone has for you. And if you're looking for, um, well, if you're involved with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio here, what you may be seeing in the future is that they are in it for the long haul. This could be them putting a great deal of effort um, into you, or this could simply be you understanding why this person caused you so much difficulty, why things were so difficult. This person could have been a, you know, somebody who was covering, trying to protect their heart, not really being romantic, um, you could be under, things could be moving forward here. You could be traveling with this person. This could be somebody traveling toward you. A lot of cancer energy here. Let's keep going. There's, you know, there's, wow. Look at you. There's victory here. Somebody could be, you could be getting the, the car of your dreams here. I'm seeing a white Cadillac. I don't know why. Somebody here, there's some kind of a of, of very, um, uh, it's a wish come true here. There's a victory here. You could be in a position of control here. Again, this could be you traveling to a place that you've always wanted. You may have always wanted to visit Egypt or something or some part of Europe. There's, there's a, a trip here, tra travel it's something that you've always wanted to do. Let's keep going. Whoa. Okay. Now, Aquarius, listen carefully here. Because this could be um, something having to do with the trip that you're planning on taking. So, for a lot of you, here's what I'm seeing. This is just, this is some kind of theft that could be prevented, that can be prevented. So let me explain now how how easy how easily this could be prevented. If you're going somewhere and you're let's say you're on a beach, um, and you think that you can just hide your little pack a sack under your towel while you go swimming, no, don't do that. Don't. I'm also seeing for some of you identity theft. So before you leave, phone your credit card agency or whatever, and just. Um, I think you can make these little arrangements where you phone them before you make a purchase, before each and every purchase. Here, there's a, there is a possibility. This is just a minor um, theft, but it could turn into something major. It, somebody could have their eye on you while you're traveling. 
And th- what they're planning on, they're waiting for you to be distracted. So just, I feel like this is something very minor. Yep, it is. Because what they're trying to do, it's something, that they're either waiting for you to um, not be in your hotel room or if you think you can conceal something under a blanket, they're watching you concealing it. So just don't do that. Assume that, um, you know, just have your, if you're traveling with a friend, just take turns um, going swimming and stuff. This this is a minor theft that can and should be avoided. Yeah, because there's a little liar here that's going to approach and, and come up with some kind of a lie. I do think that this is while you're on a trip or overseas. It's something very minor that can be avoided. Um, for others of you, this could be a child um, who is who is lying um, about something, and they may be planning on stealing something. It's some kind of dishonesty. It's something that's being concealed. So I think you're going to see this. Yeah, you are. This is you putting up boundaries and defending yourself. So I do not think that this is going to affect you. Stand your ground in the future. There are people who are coming toward you, and they seem um, kind and nice, but they're schemers. Somebody's scheming here. It doesn't have to be a child. Yep, and you're going to find out that you're right. So for any other situation, stand your ground. You, you are correct. There could be people lying um, and challenging your position. In the future, you are going to discover that your position is the correct position. Yeah, and then I feel like, you know, this, this, is the, this is what happens if you don't do this. Um, because you're going to regret believing somebody. Somebody may be trying to present something to you here. Um, now, I also think that there's somebody else in the future here who is going to be very, very regretful that they didn't take your cup. There is somebody in the future who is always going to feel sorry um, because they're realizing now they're realizing what they could have had. All right. This, I don't think this is you. Wow. Oh, what a way to end this. This is really good. So for many of you, first of all, I, you're going to end up victorious on top in that chariot. You could be with someone else. You could be with a water sign. I don't know. But there's somebody here, and I feel like it's related to the very beginning. There's somebody who is either regretting that they took a proposal. Because back here, remember how we began with this. And this, this the person who's upset here is the person who allowed themselves to get in that collaborative plan. This proposal came from a shyster. And this is somebody... It's some kind of a contract that they made, something that they ended up being obligated to. And it meant that you were off limits. So fast forward into the future, that person regrets having taken this cup because they missed your cup. And they could have been married to you. And I believe that at the end of the day, you've already got your king of pentacles. That could be that water sign um, so, this is an incredibly good reading. I notice that, um, so in somewhere in the near future is when you are getting these psychic downloads. It could simply be confirmation of, um, of the past or the psychic downloads that you're getting um, that could be the information that protects you. Okay, in the future, it's an incredibly good reading for you. Let me know if it resonates. Okay, bye.